Today's video is a sleepwear update. How has my sleepwear performed? What have I learned about myself and what I prefer in sleepwear? What are the problems? What are the triumphs? We're gonna discuss all of this in today's video. Hi everyone, Jennifer here, and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. We're gonna talk about sleepwear today, presentable sleepwear. It's one of my favorite topics to discuss on this channel. I've been talking about this for 10 years on YouTube, and it's something that I like to encourage both men and women to consider. So not only looking presentable during the day, in our day clothes, but also at night, even behind closed doors, even if you live alone, <laughs> I still think it's important to wear presentable sleepwear. So today I'm going to give you reviews on how the sleepwear that I have been wearing has performed over the winter, over the past few months. I have some surprising insights, like my favorite piece. That really surprised me, I'm sharing that with you. I've encountered some problems and some solutions. So let's just jump right into it all. Okay, so what has been my favorite piece out of all of the sleepwear pieces that I have been trying out over the past year or so. This is really gonna surprise you. And it's actually the piece that I'm wearing right now. I'm in my pajamas as I'm shooting this video. It's that Lucienne night dress from Lusame. And this really surprised me because this is probably the most boring piece that I have, but I learned something about myself. I knew this, but it was solidified as I really started to think about it. And that's why it's good to become conscious and really assess your wardrobe, even the sleepwear, because you become attuned to what you prefer naturally. So I have learned about myself that I am a nightgown type of person. <laughs> I love wearing nightgowns. I am most comfortable at night when I am in a nightgown. Now, in that category, of course, is something like this, which is a three quarter length sleeve nightgown. It's very plain, very simple. This is even too big for me. And we're going to discuss that problem later, but I just love this. I could wear this every single night in different colors and be happy probably for the rest of my life. I love a nightgown. Now under this umbrella of nightgown is definitely a chemise and those like the Montel Intimates ones, I love those too. That's better for hot weather, I would say, or if you get really hot at night. But in the winter time, something with long sleeves like this is perfect for me. So here's why. Number one, I like how I feel in them. I feel kind of dressy and presentable at the same time. And I just pop a robe on over this or even a cardigan or a shawl cardigan, or I don't even need to wear anything over it. I can feel comfortable in this around my family, absolutely. So I feel presentable in it. And then also when I sleep at night, I always start off the evening in the winter time, cold. So I get into bed, I'm usually cold, and then I heat up and then I get too hot. Do you know what that's like when you wear really thick uh, winter pajamas, you start off and you're so cold and then you get too, way too hot, right? <laughs> So the reason why this has been my favorite piece is because it has that, um, that night sweat technology in it, the Zyrotex, and it wicks the moisture at night. I just love it. I can't tell you how much I love it. So I start off the night cold, but not too cold because I have the long sleeves. And then I never get too hot when I wear this. It's just perfect for me. If I were to only choose one thing to wear, I guess in the winter time, and keep, keep in mind I'm in California, okay? It would probably be this. I really love this piece. So that's it. That was my surprising conclusion to the sleepwear that I tried um, over the past year, basically. Okay, but let's talk about some of my other favorites because I absolutely have other favorites. Let's talk about the other two nightgowns that really impressed me. And the first one is the Montel Intimates chemise. I love wearing this. And as I mentioned in one of my outfits of the week videos, the way I wear this around the house in front of my family is either with a robe or I wear it with the morning lavender cropped ballet sweater that I shared with you in my outfits of the week video. So I love this look. It's so effortless and cute and fun and I feel covered up 
but yet pretty and presentable. I really like that combination. It's very nice. So that was something that I enjoyed wearing in the winter time as well. And I know people who live in really cold climates are like, that is not winter pajamas. So listen, I completely hear you. And it's, it's perfect for California. The third nightgown that I really enjoyed wearing was the silk one from Lily Silk. It's very beautiful and it's perfect for spring. It's very lightweight again. So this might be too hot for spring. Those are perfect for spring and summer. Now I wanted to show you, this is what the Lily Silk nightgown looks like when I hang dry it. And that's what I was doing. I was either hang drying it or I can put it in the dryer. Um, and so I wanted to show you both. When I hang dry it, it does get wrinkled. And so you have to be, you know, wary of that. That's just from hanging on the, the drying rack in the laundry room. So you can see that it will get wrinkled um, if you don't put it in the tumble dryer. Now I'm going to insert B-roll here of what it looks like when it comes out of the tumble dryer and it's actually perfect and smooth. So I do tend to tumble dry actually all of these things except for the Montel Intimates chemises. Okay, so the second category of pajamas that I like the best are the pajama sets. So I have the Lily Silk one here and it's just fantastic, I love pajama sets. Again, I feel warm in them and also presentable. You could walk around the house in front of your family or even extended family and it's not a problem. So I love wearing pajama sets. So those are the two things I love. I love nightgowns and I love tailored pajama sets. I have something very exciting for everybody who is watching this video. I am doing a giveaway of this new brand that I discovered called Nay Y. And I'm going to show you the pajamas here. They're absolutely beautiful. Look how gorgeous this pajama set is. I love this purple color. They are so high quality, excellent fabric. So these are the Nay Classic Cozy Button Up Pajamas, and they sell them as a top and a pants uh, separately. And they're made in soft mellow silk with classic cute French lapels. Mellow silk is a fabric blend that combines tensile modal with materials extracted from cashmere and other fabrics. It's really soft. The texture is reminiscent of cashmere and silk. So I am giving away a size medium to a subscriber of The Daily Connoisseur. So if you want to enter the giveaway, if that's your size, or you know someone who would like them and it's their size, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below sharing what your favorite sleepwear is, what you like to wear to bed, okay? And the winner will be chosen at random and contacted directly in the comment section. So that's really exciting. I'm also gonna talk about Nay thermal underwear in just a moment. So as I see it, I had three problems with my sleepwear. Okay, so here they are. <laughs> number one, I wrote this down, okay? This is how much I think about this type of thing. Um, number one would be wrinkling. And as I showed you, um, if I don't tumble dry my pajamas, they will get wrinkled. So I don't really like walking around in wrinkled pajamas. So I either would have to tumble dry them or steam them. And so I've just decided to tumble dry most of them because that actually works for me. My pajamas are all slightly large on me. Which brings me to my next problem. <laughs> my next problem is that I tend to order my pajamas too large. And I don't know what the fear is here. I think I'm definitely afraid of wearing pajamas that are too tight. That That's awful. I hate wearing pajamas that are too small for me or too tight. It's so uncomfortable. So I tend to order a size up thinking that that will be better. But in the long run, they're just too big for me. So I think going forward, I'm going to be, you know, more cautious about ordering my actual size and not trying to second guess the company and order a size up. So that's something. So for example, this Lucien nightgown, if I can stand up and show you, it's, it's too big for me. I mean, it's, it's actually fine. It's very comfortable and you don't really notice that much. Um, and it's comfortable. So there's not that much of a problem, but it is, it's just too big. And most of my pajamas, except for the Montel Intimates chemise and uh, the Lily Silk Silk pajama set, that one fits me really well. Everything else is a bit too big on me. So I'm going to try to order my actual size and not do that. So I wanna know, do you do that when you're ordering clothes or pajamas specifically, sleepwear? Do you order a size up because you're worried about it being too tight? 
I don't know, is that just me? So that's another problem that I've become conscious of. The third thing is staying warm. So I live in Southern California and it does get cold here in the winter time, but not that cold. So if I'm getting cold, I can only imagine what people are dealing with if they're in a snowy climate or something really cold. So getting cold um, and still looking presentable is a conundrum. You have to really think about it. So like I said, I like to wear a dressing gown or a robe over my nightgowns and that's some way that I stay warm or I'll wear a cardigan, that ballet uh, top, that cropped one from Morning Lavender. Uh, the trouble is that when I wear really thick pajamas then I sometimes get hot. So a solution to this for people who are in really cold climates is to wear thermal underwear. I'm convinced of this. And you can get thermal underwear anywhere. And I know a lot of you mentioned in the comment section that that's what you have to wear because it's so cold at your house. So you can get thermal underwear really cheaply from places like Walmart and Target. I have high-end thermal underwear, of course I do, to show you in today's video. So it's the same people that made the pajama set that I'm giving away by Nay And they have this beautiful thermal underwear it's so pretty. And so it really clings to you. And you could definitely wear this underneath a um, presentable pajama set or underneath a nightgown or something like that to keep you warm. Now, I'm not gonna show you what the thermal underwear looks like on me because I feel that that's too revealing. It's like me showing you what I look like in my underwear. And just because I can doesn't mean I should. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you, but I will tell you that this thermal underwear is really good. It's very, it feels so silky on the skin. It's not scratchy or thick. So it works really well under other clothes. So that is one solution to staying warm in the winter time. Now with the Nay thermal underwear, the size medium for me, so typically I wear a size small. I did order up for this. They sent me a size medium and this fits me perfectly. I think a small would have been too tight. So this runs small, so keep that in mind, okay? But I wanted to share that with you and I will leave them linked down below. Another thing I learned about my sleepwear style over the past few months is that I simply am not a shorts person. I'm not a shorts person. I like the shorts pajamas that I had, but I don't feel comfortable. I don't know what it is. I have a thing where I just never wanna to feel too casual. You know, it, that makes me uncomfortable. So I don't really like wearing shorts that much. So I ended up giving a lot of the shorts pajamas I have, I think I only have a couple, to one of my daughters who loves wearing shorts. <laughs> she absolutely loves wearing shorts. So she loves and she loves shorts pajamas. So. Um, that's what I did with that. So I'm, I'm not that much of a shorts person. I would rather wear a nightgown. Now I'm just telling you my own personal preference. You could be completely different than me. And by the way, every single time I do a sleepwear video, I have so many people in the comments telling me that they prefer to sleep naked. <laughs> So to you, I say thank you for sharing that with me. You did not need to tell me that. You don't need to write it in the comment section. Why are you even watching this video if you don't wear pajamas? <laughs> okay, sorry, I just, I had to say that. Um, but anyway, I discovered about myself that I do prefer nightgowns. That's what I'm most comfortable in. In the winter, a long sleeve or a three quarter sleeve nightgown is just the perfect balance for me because my arms stay warm at night, but then I don't get too hot under the covers. And then also wearing thermal underwear underneath pajamas is also another great option for staying really warm. And also layering my nightgowns with sweaters is something that I enjoy doing as well. With some of the Raya, those beautiful uh, dressing gowns, the sheer gowns and, and everything, I haven't been wearing those in the winter. It's just simply too cold. Those are more of spring, summer, uh, beautiful nightgowns, but I hang them in my closet because they're so pretty. So that is my sleepwear update. If you enjoy hearing these insights that I have <laughs> into things like sleepwear, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Nay pajamas. I will ship them to you personally along with a little note to whoever the winner is. Please leave your comment down below in order to enter. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.